Hello, this is uh, Neil Peacock with PingPod. Uh, now this video is a little different. Uh, now again, we're showing uh, Plasma Active 3 on the uh, PingPod 1000. But the purpose of this video is a little different. Um, this is more to show some things that aren't working as well right now for us. And uh, basically, I want to point out why it is that we've uh, chosen to use XFCE and LXDE and uh, more standard desktop options as our default because they uh, they work for everything we're trying to do and Plasma is a great little system and uh, it, uh, it's got a lot of potential for tablets and the way it improves the touch screens and all but um, well I'll go ahead and show what we've got first and so here's an example this is the little micro uh, blog or yeah, micro blog app and it comes up um, let's see and just another example I mean it comes up it looks real nice but uh, so far I haven't managed to get it to work um, and everything seems to run smooth and doesn't, you know, seem to freeze up or have any issues. But I just, uh, I haven't managed to get it to, to bring in any data. Um, let's see. We'll kind of move up the examples. Um, there's a network manager here in Plasma. And so far, uh, we haven't managed to get it to bring in the interfaces that are running. We can test them and run it. This device actually is plugged in with an Ethernet USB. So we know it's got the interface and we can use it from the prompt, but it doesn't come into network management yet. So that's probably just a configuration issue. Um, this one's a little more worrisome because it might be that our hardware is not really good enough to run Plasma long term. But so with the browser, um, in our previous attempts, which just basically took so long to load a web page you know, it wasn't real usable. Um, let's see. We'll go to Google News there. Let's see if I got that clicked. And so it's starting to load up the Google News page. And as you can see, it's just... Uh, it's just taking a while. And again, this could just be a configuration issue and we may yet sort it out. Uh, we are going to start talking with uh, Plasma guys and hopefully hopefully we figure out that it's just a configuration issue or something. Because the biggest one, because that just runs a little slow, but it does uh, come up. And so, if you were patient, I guess you could use this. Um... But again, it might just not be a good fit for the pink pot. We might just not have enough power, it turns out, to run plasma well. So, um, whatever, I can get some control back here. Close that. So again, this is our our install is just done using OpenSUSE, and the package is available there. So we didn't do a lot of custom configuration, and so, and this is the worst one we've run into so far because normally you'd add widgets, desktops, apps right to that desktop, and uh, and they do have a lot of great little widgets in there, but basically, whenever we go to do the little app adder, uh, it freezes entirely, and I'm actually going to submit my log on this one today, and hopefully find something out uh, but again uh, this could just be configuration issues or some things that we have to just you know fill around with specifically for the ping pod but I wanted to make sure everyone was aware of, of how it worked and because our time frames were built around adding uh, support for different features and, and different things than this um, it's not something we're probably gonna have time to, to work a lot on uh, after release and so for people that are really excited about plasma we just wanted to show uh, kind of how it works now and kind of what you're getting into if plasma is what you want to run uh, with the ping pod so 
uh, feel free to come and talk to us and give us any questions and feedback and let us know, you know, what you think. Or I'd be lo- I'd love to hear from people that have run Plasma on other systems. Tell me what I'm what I'm not doing right because you know I, I'm not real experienced with it. But uh, again, we're out trying to make sure everyone just knows you know the true state of things. So uh, please visit us on our website at pingpod.com or come visit our fundraiser at uh, indiegogo.com slash pingpod and let us know what you think. Thank you.